we talked about Azure Databricks solution. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Databricks to a flat file and read the data from a flat file. And then how you can load the data onto an SQL server, onto a SQL server. It's very simple. You will create an SQL server and um, then you would load the data from the flat file to this SQL server. In the next year, databases, SQL database, put in a name. In here, enter the name, select the resource group, select database, blank database, create a new server, and then give a server name. I'm going to say SQL server. Now, admin login, Debrix SQL, Debrix admin, password, it's going to be P A S S W O R D. One, two, three. P A S S W O R D. Act one, two, three. So that you remember. And then you can select a server location. I'm going to say East US for now. Okay, uh, let's select ATOS to US. Okay, and click, click on select. And then you would select a pricing tier. So for the pricing tier, because we are just doing a training, you would select the basic, which is $5 US dollars a month. Just click on apply and click on create. And it's going to create a SQL server the standard configuration and please note down the details of a sql server whatever you created uh, very soon i'll show you how to use this okay i need to mention the password again so p a w s o r d at one two three um, p a s s w o r d at the rate one two three and say select um, and then click on create it's going to take some time to create and you will see on the top right that uh, the server is created so i'll let the server getting created now in the meanwhile uh, please note that you need some information to connect to the sql database which is the database string which is the db bricks sql server dot database dot windows dot net and then user id and password which we have i do not try connecting to this server because after this video creation I'm going to delete the server so it's no longer be available for you to access. So you can see that uh, the server is created and this is the server name. So on, on a notepad, just copy this server name. Next, I'm going to go to the Databricks and create a notebook. This is the Databricks server, the cluster which we created the last time. Create a new notebook and give a new notebook name. I would say SQL to so CSV to SQL and then create. So in the first one here in the Py notebook, the Python notebook, we are going to create. Uh, we are going to write from parks par pyspark.sql import star that means import everything and then we will write import pandas so these are the two libraries which we are going to use to load the data from csv to sql server i'm going to run the cell now so here just click on run and it ran successfully now the next step is so to create put a new step just click on here and it's going to create a new step here we're going to add gdbc hostname port number and the database you would get this information from the sql server we just created and then i'm going to create a properties json so in the properties json i'm going to put username as admin and the password as password please note that do not try connecting to the server you will not be able to connect because I'm going to delete the server after I'm done with the videos.
now let's run this command using run cell so the command executed and so in this case you have initialized jdbc host name port number database properties and the user name and password now i'm going to mention the url so this is the text for url jdbc sql server jdbc host name is zero port is one and database equals to this database so this is just a url creation which i have done uh, to make sure that you can reuse the same code and this code would be uploaded onto a link which is going to be in the google drive in the video section below let's run the cell here and the cell executed properly so all i'm doing is i got two libraries and then entered the use host port database and the properties of the the sql server now in the next video i'm going to play around with the data and load the csv to a sql server database